looking at the truck. Tires right away. First thing I know. Oh yeah, Every first thing. In the winter time. So I was gonna go to like Bell Tire. I don't know if you guys sell I tires. I can match. I can match tires. Whatever you want, whatever you need. Okay. okay. The four wheel drive in this car is not gonna work because the hubs are broken. These are called actuators, four wheel drive actuators. Oh. So the vacuum lines to both sides, and you see this is just a real common thing on Fords and stuff. They'll break right here. Okay. So there's no vacuum assist. The four wheel so drive. What I was work. feeling, I wasn't in four wheel. Right, you're not you're not in four wheel because it ain't gonna work. The or is it? Or is like three, maybe three wheel? Possibly. You know, it's just gonna be just a rear wheel drive. I can feel it binding. Possibly, yeah. If it's binding, then it could be that it's trying to trying to work or something like that. But yeah. Okay. It's vacuum assist right here, and they're broken yeah. on both sides. These these are just called actuators. Okay. It pays about two and a half hours. You got to move the axles and stuff. Do they have a out. locked? Do they have a locked solution where it's just locked in? You don't want that, you especially want in, that. The winter, in the summertime. Okay. You, you want to have snow, ice, and gravel underneath your four wheels when you're in four wheel drive. Um, well, you know how GMs are locked. Yeah, but it's an all wheel drive system, so it's changing the okay. actuation up in the front and the differential oh, instead okay. of at the hubs. So yeah. yours are like at the hubs. So hub. that's going to spin the diff. Correct. Which is not you just good. need these are diff lockers on the yeah. outside here, but it's okay. a vacuum assist side. And it's just a common thing that happens. Yeah. Or 125 at the dealership, I think, aside. Okay. Um, the other thing I see is there's a heavy power steering leak right here, so you're actually pissing power steering fluid out of the pressure line pretty good. Pressure line. The pressure line, so that's the sensor here. So I'm not coming out of the rack? I don't think it's the rack, no. Okay. The rack itself seems to be dry. Okay. But the pump itself looks very rusty, so that line might not come off right. So I got the pump on the on the menu as well. Okay. See how so where that line plugs into that pump, it's super rusty up there. Yeah. So that guy. So that's not going to probably. It might not come out nicely, so I, I have the worst case scenario built okay. for you. The coil springs are broken on both sides. Oh, wow. Look at that. No wonder it's low in the front. That and the other side. Back wow. Here Wish I would have got it inspected first. Yep, that's how I always try to recommend the size broken in the back here. Wow, so two broken struts, yep. pretty much. The coil, they make a quick strut, so I've got that on the menu as well. Okay. So everything I've got on here is, uh, I've got pretty much prices for. Oh, okay. The brakes are getting rusty and stuff, but I'm, it's probably just because it might have been sitting in the lot or something like that. Yeah. I'm not going to put that on the on the needs list right now. Okay, so the pads themselves are okay They for seem now. okay for now, safe. Safe wise, you can get down the road for a little while. Um, the exhaust is broken here, so it's just gonna be loud, but the muffler itself is cracked open. Right okay. There. This car was a fifth wheel, so it looks like it's got the fifth wheel there, so it's probably been abused pretty good because it's- Wow. You know, look you at see that. how that plate right there? That's a plate for like putting a big ass trailer on it. So like that's wow. a, a fifth wheel is what they call that, where the, where the trailer would connect it's to a good the, the middle of the bed. It's a good chance they probably use that. Yep, more than likely. Because that's what it is, right? Right. Um, you're at, you're at two hundred thousand miles, so your hundred thousand miles stuff is due again, right? So all your right. fluids and plugs and things like that. But I'm just doing a safety inspection for you right now. Um, the check engine light's on. Um, right now, it's fifty bucks for me to do my inspection. It's a hundred dollars for me to plug in the car and tell you what's going on with downstream uh, this catalyst converter below okay. fishy that's, threshold. That's, Nothing else popped up so yeah. far. So that's that. So your fluids and the main thing that I would do right now: tires and your wheel hubs. On the outside, so your four-wheel drive will work. Okay. So these two things is what I would get done. Um, you've got mild play in the, in the um, sway bar link right here. Okay. It's not enough for me to call it and tell you to do it. Okay. Um, and you've got mild play in the upper control arm. The boot's torn, and this has got mild play to upper it. Upper ball it, joint. Yep. It's a control arm. The whole control arm comes Correct. as a unit. Yeah. This side's a Moog, as well as a lower ball joint, so that side's been replaced before. Okay. So you can tell it's a Moog, and it's got a fitting on, on it. Okay. And the top's the same way. It's got a Moog. And so that is greasable. So this, Those. yeah, this side's been done. This side's original. So this like. side can use a Moog. This side's not making any play. So I think the ball joint's safe. That side's starting to make a little bit of movement on the top. So that's control arm and the boot's torn open. Okay. So those things are everything that I can pretty much see. That's safety. That would need to be start first. Okay. But yeah. First things first is your wheel hubs. Tires. Well, look at that. Spin that. It looked like the wheel moved. We, it is, but it's not going to engage the differential, you know? So I'm, I'm not, I'm I'm not, not going to be getting through the snow properly. Yeah, correct. Okay. So these are lockers and stuff, and you need to, they basically unbolt from the inside, you see? Okay. So you got to move the axle and you unbolt them from the inside. Okay. So I got all that on there. You said an hour each side plus parts? Uh, a little bit over an hour, about an hour and a half, especially over a 200 what is, mile truck. So. What is an hour? Uh, the job itself is about 550 to put the hubs in the front. Okay. What is an hour cost? 98. Okay. I think the dealer's like 120 or 115, 120 in that range. Okay. Um, so that's what I found in your initial safety, safety inspection. inspection. Yep. Not bad. So, I mean, kind of expensive, but not yeah. bad. But it is.